LD244, a, a bill, an act to clarify the use of state lands designated <coughs> for conservation or recreation purposes, pre presented by our own Representative Chapman of Brooksville. Yes, Brooksville, home to the Callahan Mine. <laughs> and also in my district is Blue Hill, home to the Kerr American Mine. The only two mines that Maine has, commercial mines that Maine has had, uh, metal mineral mines that Maine has had in the last century. Senator Davis and Representative Dunphy, my name is Ralph Chapman, and I am the uh, state representative for House District 133, as I mentioned, that includes uh, Blue Hill and Brooksville. Um, I'm here to present LD 244. Um, LD244 adds a single sentence of clarification. It does not change law. It simply makes it easier for people not to misinterpret the law. And in order for you to understand it, I've got to give you a little bit of context. And so I'm going to take a few minutes just to give a sort of an over, overview of the context for, for why I'm trying to uh, provide this clarification. Uh, to, to law that deals with a uh, indicating that mining would be a substantial change uh, in the use of designated lands. So metal mining uh, is a topic that is um, under current discussion and has been for a number of years in front of the Environment and Natural Resources Committee. And it's not necessary perhaps for this committee to know a lot of details about it other than to say that it represents some environmental risks. Uh, and I'd be more than happy to fill anyone in in any amount of detail that you'd like, but uh, uh, that's a, a very lengthy, could be a very lengthy process. Um, it's clear that um, the Department of Environmental Protection has authority for uh, the regulation of metal mining in the state. At the same time, we have a Title 12, and uh, the blue sh the blue packet that you have in front of you uh, is uh, appears to me to be a, a printout of some portions of our statute uh, in Title 12, uh, Section 549, 549A, 549B, and 549C. Uh, I, I believe is in front of us. It is, and uh, this. Uh, LD244 makes a, a one-sentence change, uh, as, as indicated in the, in the bill. Now, uh, the state constitution uh, indicates that changes to uh, designated lands that reduce their value or substantially alter their uh, use requires a two-thirds vote of both chambers of the legislature. That, that is the law. <coughs> Uh, the purpose of this clarification is, in the, in the matter of, of rule promulgation done by the Department of Environmental Protection under authority from laws that are in the jurisdiction of the uh, Joint Standing Committee on the Environment and Natural Resources, uh, that's where some confusion came in in which uh, the, the regulations seem to uh, cross over into uh, trying to deal with matters on public lands. Now, of, of significance is that the Attorney General's office, upon request of that committee, had issued a, uh, a, a memo uh, dated uh, last September, I think it was September 14th uh, of 2016, uh, which indicated that the um, Department of Environmental Protection did not have jurisdiction for, uh, specifically the question was could they ban mining on public lands, uh, could they, uh, and, and the Attorney General said no because of Title 12. Um, it's this committee that has jurisdiction and the uh, Department of uh, Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry that has jurisdiction over the public lands with respect to mining. So uh, the bill before you is a simple clarification. Uh, I, I, there are 
other things that we might consider, that the, the committee might consider doing with Title 12, which certainly has some kind of outdated references to mining in it. It also uh, is in some conflict, it could appear to be in some conflict with the, with the uh, statutes uh, that uh, involve the jurisdiction of the Environment and Natural Resources Committee and the Department of uh, Environmental Protection. But my understanding, and I'm not a lawyer, and I uh, suggest we might even want to make sure that the Attorney General's office is involved in our deliberations, mm -hmm. but my understanding is that the Department of Environmental Protection and its Legislative Oversight Committee have jurisdiction over the regulation of mining whereas this committee and uh, the department that we oversee uh, has uh, authority to allow or disallow uh, that mining activity. That is to say, uh, that's my understanding. Uh, if that's true, it's possible that we might want to clear up Title 12 a little bit more than just my simple additional sentence that uh, provides some clarification. Uh, for example, we might want to make it very explicit that the, uh, uh, the Title 12 suggests that um, someone within the Department of uh, Agriculture, Conservation, Forestry could make rules that govern the, uh, the mining on state lands, and uh, we might want to clean that part up. Nevertheless, um, uh, we can discuss that at the work session. I'm happy to answer your questions uh, on, on this at the present time, and thank you very much. Thank you, Representative Chapman. Senator Dill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So basically, if I get this, basically all this does, or what this does, is um, says the can't bans mining on public land unless there's two thirds in each chamber that would say that they could. Uh, not quite. Uh, this added sentence clarifies existing law that says that a reduction in value or a substantial change of use of designated lands requires a two-thirds vote of both chambers. That's the current law that's in, that's a, a constitutional law, main constitution. So uh, without this sentence, the law meaning doesn't change. It's just that I'm um, trying to make certain that the understanding is, is there a little bit more explicitly than it is now, that that's the situation. Um, so making a change to the use of designated lands right now requires the two-thirds vote. Uh, with this clarification in it, it would continue to do so. If for some reason we uh, wanted to make a change in that, uh, that would be a constitutional change requiring, uh, as you know, the, the, the two-thirds uh, of the legislature and ratification by uh, the public for constitutional changes. Did that answer your question? Kind of. <laughs> Senator Saviello. Thank you, Mr. Chair. It's good to see you, Ralph. Uh, damn, this stuff follows me all around. <laughs> so. I'm, I guess I'm confused like because I didn't think we needed to have this change. I mean, certainly in the testimony we've had in front of us, people, in, if I understand it correctly, there's certain things you can do on public land. And so I'm, I'm kind of clarifying my question so that maybe help the rest of the committee. And if we decide for some reason you can't do that on the land anymore, whether it be hunt or fish or whatever, that it requires a two-thirds vote by the legislature to change that use because it's a pretty significant change that's taken place. So the argument in the past has been, and I think I'm, am I, I think I'm on the right track, <coughs> is that is mining considered to be a significant change on the use of public lands? Am I I'm still on the right track? Yes. Right? So those of us who believe that it's still more, this is more general than specific, specific might believe that mining, if you take away mining, it's a major sub, it's a significant change. Some of us may believe that this is clear that you don't have to say it because mining would be a significant change. So what you're doing is just clarifying that mining is in fact a significant change on the use of the property, pro state property, therefore it needs a two-thirds approval by the legislature. I said that right? I didn't mean to be tricky. I'm trying. No, I, I believe you're correct. 
believe so, you're correct. So I think as a committee, ultimately, we have to decide, do we need to make that language change, or is mining already included in what's there? By your comment, mining is included in what's there. Right? I, I guess, we, again, in, in another committee, the conversation we had last year, and I saw this is how I phrased, I thought we didn't have to change that because mining would already be considered a significant change. Uh, well, what you're saying is that my clarification here, which is not changing law, does not change law, and therefore maybe we don't need to do that, the I guess that you've got, that, you've got to adjust to my question. I'm and just I, trying and, to. And, and yes, uh, I, 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 I would agree with you. At the same time, uh, if we can avoid uh, what we ran into as a problem a couple of years ago by adding to the clarification of it, I uh, thought that was worth uh, trying to do. And as I point out, we could also use this as a vehicle to clean up Title 12 in further ways if we so chose. For the committee, Mr. Ch Mr. Ms. Madam Chair, uh, perhaps we want to have the AG come down during the work session to talk about this and what's necessary. You have that on your list too? That's just a suggestion. Thank you. you. just kill your thunder. <coughs> any, other, any other questions, comments? Thank you, sir. Thank you. There are no co-sponsors, so any other legislator wish to speak on this? Any at all? <coughs> Seeing none, anyone wishing to speak in favor of this legislation, supporting this legislation? In support. Chairman Davis, Representative Dunphy, members of the Joint Standing Committee, I look at you from the last time that I was here and I feel like I'm staring at my perennial garden, which I planted in 1989, and has done this with its roots, and as a <laughs> consequence of that, has done this with its height, and it needs replanting. You're the, there's a whole bunch of new faces here, and uh, I welcome you. Uh, I, uh, I have been a, an intense follower of the mining uh, issues and the, the mining rules process, uh, and uh, it's very much of a moving Safety target. Voice. I spent five hours yesterday in there. Sir, would you tell us your name, please? I'm where you're sorry. From? Yes, I'm Hendrick Gideon. I wrote it down. Hendrick Gideon's from Brooklyn, Maine. Thank you. Uh, representative Chapman is my representative. Uh, uh, I, 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 the, the mining stuff is a moving target. Uh, uh, there's lots of things that have happened in the last two or three days, and I brought testimony but it needs to be adjusted, so I'm going to wing it, and I'm going to send a written version to the committee in time for your work session. Uh, LD244 seems to me to be useful clarification. I remember the discussions of a couple of years ago. It was not clear then. This simply makes it crystal clear that mining is a change and it, and it would require a vote. Um, it, it probably is unnecessary except for the, the sense that there was uh, uncertainty among your numbers about that. Uh, uh, I would like to reference to the Attorney General's September 14, uh, 2016 uh, uh, submission to the uh, DEP and MBEP uh, on rulemaking authority. I was going to attach it to my testimony. It's four pages long, and I ran out of paper. Um, <laughs> Uh, so much generation of paper that I got through the last ream. So I reference it, and uh, it probably should be made available to you if it hasn't been already. Um, uh, and that's it. I just I'm in favor of it. I've, I will say some things about the process, the kinds of choices that uh, the ENR is facing. Uh, and you have an important conservation responsibility, which is dovetailed with the, uh, the environmental protection concerns of the mining proposals. And I will have a few things to say about that, but I don't need to take your time here now. Thank you very much. Questions, committee? Seeing none, thank you, sir. Thank you. Others who wish to speak in support of this legislation? Yeah. 